Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the problem from lead code. It's a medium problem. The problem name is design a circular DQ. So you actually have to design a double ended cube that is a DQ. You have to implement these functions. So if you know about Q, then it's just an extended version of a Q. In Q, we'll insert from one end and take out from another end. If I just draw it out. So a Q is a data structure in which you can assume that this is a pipe. You insert elements from the very back. Okay, and you can only insert like pop it out or take it out from the very start. So let's say if you insert one element that is this, so that let's say the element is one, then you can only insert the next element after it. So let's say two, then three. So let's a queue. Okay, like uh, when you will let you go to buy something from a shop, there's a queue. So you like you get in the back and you only start taking out from the very front. But the DQ is a special type of queue in which you can like you can insert from the back or pop from the back as well. As well as you can insert from the front and pop from the front. So you can do all of these operations on a double ended queue. So double ended queue. So that is called a DQ. This is D. So you have to implement that. And uh, so the different functions regarding DQ is that you can insert pop, insert pop from back front. You can find out the size, whether it is empty or not. But there is a hard limit in this DQ that it should be only consisting of k elements. The total elements at any moment of time in the queue should be less than or equal to k. That's the overall thing. Now there are different functions. Let's say insert front of the uh, DQ. So if it can be inserted such that the total length should not be greater than k, then you can insert the element as well as return true. But if it is not possible to insert in the DQ, then return false. Uh, similarly, insert at the last, delete from the like back, but deleting it means that like removing out or popping out so delete from the front delete from the end if you are able to delete it how you can check it out if there are some elements in the dq at least then only you can remove what elements if you can remove from the front or back it will run true as it will run false then get front will tell you what is the front element the back element uh, get back and if there is no front or back element return minus one similarly for is empty will check that whether the whole dq is empty and is full means that whether the Q is full, DQ is full, that is it, the size of that is equal to K. So it's pretty simple. You can directly use so C actually gives you a data structure that is DQ directly uh, out of the box. So you can directly use DQ, don't have to implement that. You can also actually use a vector to implement a Q, like DQ as well. Uh, but uh, because we have DQ directly out of the box from like provided by C, we can directly use that. So uh, what we have done, directly moved on to the code because nothing much is here to explain as such. The code will be sufficient enough. So what we can do is that we have this DQ that we have implemented in a global uh, case. You can assume a global state and this is a DQ and the capacity that is cap that will be stored. What is the maximum capacity I can be stored inside the DQ. So while we're initializing this DQ is initialized in the global state, but we have to initialize the uh, like uh, what is the size of the Q we or DQ we actually have to use, so that will be stored here. Now let us move on to each individual function. So insert front. Okay, so we can only insert in the front of the DQ when like until there are less than k elements. If it is more than or more than k elements, we cannot. So we should check that the size of the Q should be less than the maximum capacity. If it is less than the maximum capacity, then only we can add the uh, like the element. So we will push front. That is the function we will be using with DQ. If you want to push in the front of the DQ, so push front. Okay, we have to insert this value and return true because we have post like it is possible or we have inserted a, a value in the front of the DQ, so return true as return false because we are not. Similarly, for the last, this is push back. So push front and push back are the functions for inserting in the front and back of the DQ. Going uh, down, so let's move it down. So at last. The next function is delete front. So for deleting out, we have to ensure that there should be some element inside the DQ. So the DQ shad should be greater than equal to zero. Greater than zero, actually, not greater than equal, greater than zero. So we'll just check that the size of Z should be greater than zero, then only we'll go inside this function. Pop. So we have to pop out or delete out element from the front. So pop front. We delete the front element from the DQ. If it is possible to delete, we'll return true as it is false, and also delete out the like the front element as is the back. So pop front and pop back. We return the like we'll delete the front and the back elements. Similarly, if we we'll move down to now, we have to get the elements. Okay, so when we want to get the elements, because when we want to get the front element in the same thing, we have to just check that we can only get the elements if there are actually some elements inside the DQ. So DQ dot size will check that it should be having some elements. So DQ dot front will get the first element, and if it is not present, then return minus one. 
Then similarly, dq dot back will give you the back element if it is not present. Greater than minus one. Now the last two functions are checking out whether the size is zero, like it is empty or not. So if the size of the dq is at end, like when we are calling this function is zero, then it, it will return true that it is empty. So if the size is zero, which means that this is a Boolean expression, it will return true. If uh, it is an empty uh, dq, else it return return false. Similarly, if it is full, the size of the dq should be equal to the capacity that is the maximum capacity that is equal to k. If that is true, then the answer is that it is full, else it is not full. So these are the Boolean expressions that will return true or false. That is overall uh, like the code. Uh, we just have to implement these functions, and the, the overall will be handled by the lead code only. So uh, that's the overall problem, the code part of it. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box. I will see you in the next one. Thank you, coding, and bye.